Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Urshan, and this week we're doing another horror tag video. This one from YouTuber Horror Digest, and it's called the Horror Digest Tag. Um, I was actually tagged by Horrific Nightmares JM, so thanks for that, man. Uh, so this is going to be six questions, folks. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, so the first one is, we already had Aliens vs. Predator. Uh, what other horror icons would you like to see battle in the next vs. movie? Uh, and that is real easy for me, because it's the one I've been waiting for my entire life, and that is Michael vs. Jason. Yes! <laughs> Michael Myers, the Boogeyman, the Shape vs. the horror legend Jason Voorhees. Hell yeah! clash of epic proportions that would be amazing so make it happen hollywood <laughs> uh next up is would you rather survive a horror movie scenario but some of your friends die or all of your friends live but you get killed uh so i have to say all of my friends live and i would get killed so you know i'm willing to take the hit i'm willing to take the shot for the team i'm willing to bite the bullet um, because I don't want to see any of my friends die. I uh, wouldn't like that at all. Okay, so next up, number three, is you're in a horror movie. Are you the final girl? The first to die? The comic relief? The skeptic? The smart one? Or the killer? And my answer to that is the killer. Yes. <laughs> really because I don't match any of the other ones. And it's always more fun to be the bad guy. <laughs> So next up is, we have seen many horror icons in space, just like Jason or Leprechaun. And uh, who would you want to go to space next? And uh, the first thing I think is that's always the point in the franchise where they've run out of ideas. <laughs> but uh, at any rate, my answer is Dr. Victor Frankenstein. That's right. Can you imagine the cryptic creations he would come up with? in outer space. Uh, imagine the monster he could create from dead alien parts. Oh, just the thought of it uh, gives me goosebumps. <laughs> so Dr. Victor Frankenstein for me, that would be amazing to see him in space and what he could come up with. <laughs> Alright, so next up is when making sequels to horror movies, when do you think enough is enough? Um, because so many horror franchises go on and on and on, especially some of my favorite ones like Halloween and Friday the 13th. They keep making them and making them. Um, and that's a great question, you know, when do you stop? When is enough enough? Uh, and uh, for me, I'm going to say four is the perfect capping point. Um, because there's so many trilogies out there, I've just had enough of that, you know. <laughs> And uh, a lot of times I think trilogies just aren't enough. It's not enough to wrap up a whole complete epic story, you know. Uh, you want more, and I think one more is the perfect capping point. So four for me, guys. Next up is name a horror movie that was ruined for you because of the ending. And uh, I'm going to choose a film from the famous Hammer Studios. Oh uh, yeah, I love Hammer Films, that British studios that came up with so many great movies in the 50s and 60s and 70s. I'm going to choose one from my favorite franchise uh, in the Hammer Films, and that is the Dracula franchise starring the great Christopher Lee. And uh, several of them starred Peter Cushing as well. And I'm going to pick the third entry in that franchise, and that is Dracula, Prince of Darkness. Um, it was a really solid sequel, I think, uh, starring the great Christopher Lee, as, again, as the Count Dracula. And uh, the only thing is, uh, he didn't have any lines in the movie, and that kind of bothered me. But I could look past that, because everything else was really good. It had a great gothic feel to it, it had a great score, uh, and Dracula was still menacing, even though he didn't have any lines. Um, but what I can't look past was, is the cheesy-ass ending. <laughs> The way Dracula is dispatched of, uh, and he's dispatched of pretty easily in some of the other ones too, but this one takes the cake. Um, so a priest shoots at the ice, and a big chunk of ice comes up, and Dracula sinks in it and drowns, and uh, 
apparently clear running water kills Dracula. That's enough to kill the biggest badass, the most powerful vampire in history is clear running water. Really? Come on. <laughs> I just couldn't believe that. I'm like, come on, people. Uh, so that's it for me, guys. That's it for the Horror Digest tag. And I'm going to tag a couple other people. I'm going to tag Horror Metal. And I'm going to tag Dead Real. So answer the call, folks. And thank you, folks, for joining me, Sean Patrick Gershon, in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared.